What's up my beautiful people, welcome back to Ordinary E and thank you for coming back. Today we're going to try and fix this. So if you've seen in my last videos, we are installing Hall Effects into my controllers. This was the first one we ever did, which is the V1s, and it's still going strong. Just a quick update. V1s are fine. V5s are better. This is the one I use primarily. But these ones, these wasn't any of the Hall Effects that we were using from Ginfil. So these ones have the Ginfil, but these ones had, this one here had the blue type, turquoise type Hall Effects that someone told me to try, which we put it in, but it came out on the tester, circularity tester, that it wasn't hitting all of the edges. If you can see in the corner, it doesn't quite hit the corners now apparently there is a fix for that so you can recalibrate it and what you've got to do is reduce the thickness of the joystick and to do that you can either wrap some tape around it or what I have are these little silicon rings I've got a bunch of silicon rings now what these do are they protect the edge of your joystick so you just pop them on and you can see how thin that is we're talking millimeters right so you put this on on your joystick by pulling it over and around you might need to play with it so it sits flush and that's it so it sits like that and what it does it just protects the edges of your playstation controller as well you could use this for any stick actually to protect it but also what it does is it reduces the thickness so that when you move the joystick to around in the circle and you're going to recalibrate it it should think it's smaller so it would go all the way to the edge in other words it's going past it's going to make it look like it's going all the way to the edge hopefully so that's what i'm going to try if it's not that what it is is these hall effects were not compatible i can use it but it just doesn't go all the way to the edge right so that's no good but yeah there could be lower ohms or something or they're just not compatible so what we're going to do is we're going to try this should we try with one stick and with the other and see if that works okay so we're over on the pc now i'm just about to connect my controller to the gi software it now has this calibration you don't have to use this gamepad tester anymore the calibration has the circularity on it now the gui tester as you can see the right stick with the rubber band on it or well, the silicon band doesn't go all the way to the edge now right so the left stick still doesn't hit the corners so now let's calibrate that and see what it does just going to move the sticks around and around roughly about five times then press done and press ok and as you can see with the rubber band it's now hitting the sides but when we take off the rubber band and i'll show you okay so now that we have calibrated it we can now remove that and then when we put it back on the machine it should hit all the circles right so let's just remove this or remove the tape whatever you've used like so so now there's no silicon on there it's back to normal let's put it on okay so i'm now going to reconnect it back to the pc as before press this and that right so let's do the circularity test and as you can see it now goes past the circle edges hitting all of the corners edges whatever you want to call it so it works perfect still got to calibrate the left one so let's do them both together so i'm now going to add some rubber silicon bands to both sticks and recalibrate this again four or five times should do it press ok done take off the rubber bands there we go no rubber bands let's see how it looks now so both stick have been calibrated and they both hit all of the edges perfectly fine the left stick a bit doesn't quite hit that top right side there but we can add more bands recalibrate it and that should fix that issue yeah it's just a matter of playing around with it guys but it does work so there you have it guys a nice quick and easy fix for you just play around with the sizes of the bands and see what works but yeah it does work so you can fix your hall effects if your hall effects are showing up like that on the calibration tool and yeah that's about it for this video guys that was pretty simple i was going to swap out the hall effect v1s and not so these are the v1s they're not as good as the v5s right so i probably will do v5s in my controller here but other than that hall effects are still the way to go i recommend it you don't have to use the bands you can use tape what i'm going to do for you is a giveaway guys i've got the keyboard giveaway no one claimed it in the last video so if you commented on the last video you win with a chance make sure you comment on this video if you want a chance to win a keyboard or a pair of v4 hall effects which i still have i have a few hall effects from the previous iteration not the v1s i won't give those out because they're a bit they're not as good as v5s but i've got v4s which are good so v4s are the way i don't know was that v4 or v5 here i think i'm v5 but in the next video i may be doing my own controller upgrade because i have the new extreme rate hall effects which are apparently the best on the market so we will be checking those out very soon all right guys that's it let me do the giveaway hopefully that was a quick and nice enjoyable video for you thank you for watching i appreciate you keep up the support make sure you subscribe get someone else to subscribe comment on all the videos just to make sure you're entered in any giveaways that i do and yeah i appreciate 
appreciate you make sure you put a thumbs up and a like apparently that i need i need those as well so there you go all right guys it's time to pick the winner of the keyboard so all i do for this is go to the last video not videos not shorts it's the videos you've got to be watching and commenting on guys yeah so i get the last video here i get the url up here or the address bar here go to youtube comment picker put your put that in there fetch the comments all right four comments Good luck for the keyboard. The Cudders G. Hey man, I hope I get something. Well, you did. You got a keyboard. So what you got to do now, Cudders G, is go to my YouTube page where you can see my Instagram link. Click that and we'll speak on Instagram so we can keep your details private where to send the keyboard or if you want to take the money. So I'll speak to you on Instagram. Congratulations to at the Cudders G.